The research that I do is really concerned with muscular dystrophy and specifically Duchenne muscular dystrophy which is the common genetic cause of muscular dystrophy and affects males only. And when we began this work 30 years ago we didn't know what the gene was, we didn't know why these boys were gradually uh, getting muscle weakness, going into a wheelchair at 11 and then dying in their late teens or early 20s. Now we know what the gene is. Um, we've done a lot of work on how we can diagnose the disease early enough in order to be able to manage the patients, but we don't yet have a treatment. And what we're concerned with at the moment is trying to find a treatment. We discovered a, a protein which is very similar to the protein that's missing in muscular dystrophy patients, it's the reason they've got the muscular dystrophy. And the similar protein is normally present in adult muscle in very small amounts. And what we've discovered is that if you increase those levels, you can compensate for the lack of the protein that should normally be there but isn't there in patients. We won't be able to cure the patient uh, if they've already got muscular dystrophy because they'll have lost some of the muscle when we go to treat them. But we will be able to arrest the disease, stop it from getting any worse. So uh, boys that are already in a wheelchair, for example, may be able to maintain the use of their arms, which means that they maintain their independence. So it'll make a big difference to their lives. If we could get an effective treatment, we then might be able to persuade the NHS to do neonatal screening, that's screening uh, as soon as they're born. So we could identify those boys that are going to be affected, we could begin treatment straight away, and then we could prevent them from going into a wheelchair. So that's the overall objective. In the next five to ten years I hope that we'll be able to find new pathways which are clearly affected in diseases like motor neuron disease, Parkinson's disease and schizophrenia. Uh, that is, those are very difficult problems, uh, much more difficult than DMD in many ways, but you know genetics and genomics as it's called is now advancing so rapidly we can sequence things much more quickly it's getting cheaper so I think there's real hope that we will have a lot of clinical delivery on some of these diseases in the future.